You've got this in your locker. The promises of God. You see, the family, the family of of um, Naomi, they were in the place known as the house of bread. They were in the promise. The promise was, this is known as the house of bread. This means that God is going to provide bread. Sometimes, someplace, some way. He's going to do it because it's the promise. We don't need to worry because it's the promise of God. He says, do not worry. We don't need to worry about the things that we haven't got in life because he's our provider. We don't need to fear death because he's given us eternal life. We don't need to worry through life, whether it's mental or physical sickness in our lives, because he's our healer. These are promises of God, and these are just four. And we, we're talking a book load of promises from God for our lives. I will restore you. You see, this family was in the place it needed to be. It didn't need to go anywhere else. It didn't need to go anywhere else. It was already in the place. You know why we know that? Because it says... Then she heard that God turned up and provided them bread in the place known as the house of bread. I just want to say to you, stop trying to do it your way. Stop trying to work out your way because whatever the promise of God is, it doesn't change. His promise stands. It continues to stand. It never changes. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Whatever he said then, he's saying today. Whatever he says today, he's saying in the future. It doesn't change. Nothing changes with God. He is who he says he was, who he is, and will be. It doesn't change. So if he says, I'm your provider, and he's calling you to sacrifice and surrender, do it. Trust him. It's a much better way of living. Trust me. I know. It's better to walk in the purposes and plans of God and have little than to have much and know you're not walking with God. 